Today we have a panel of guests here to discuss the human papillomavirus vaccine, Gardasil. Now, human papillomavirus is also known as HPV. You've probably heard of it. It is the most common sexually transmitted infection worldwide. So people are wondering these days, do the risks associated with the Gardasil vaccine outweigh the potential benefits? Well, stick around. We're going to be discussing this controversial issue today. Gardasil is a, a vaccine. It's the only vaccine licensed in the, in the United States to prevent infection with HPV. Um, it's made by Merck and Company, and it's a vaccine that's directed against four types of HPV. Gardasil is a vaccine that has an unusually benign safety profile. The only concerns I've ever seen is when it's being administered with meningococcal uh, vaccine simultaneously. And since they've stopped doing that, I've not seen any reports of any meaningful reaction. Uh, certainly, anytime you pull out a needle, somebody might faint. And certainly, uh, the power of placebo is overwhelming, particularly in this country, and people can report all kinds of things. But this is a vaccine that will save tens of thousands of lives. And at least helping teens to maintain abstinence through high school or perhaps through college. You know, and any time we can extend that and lower the number of sexual partners, we lower their, their incidence of HPV and other, vac and other diseases. Okay, let's take a look at another clip we have from David Hastings. Uh, he would like to share his thoughts about HPV and uh, Gardasil. I'm a cancer survivor and, and my cancer was caused by HPV and it was caused in the oral cavity. So if there is a vaccine that can prevent someone having to go through the treatment I did, I'm all for it. Educate yourself. D don't just listen to, to what other people say. Go online. Read about HPV. Read about the Gard Gardasil vaccination. Don't just sit there and say, I don't want my, my daughter or my son, hopefully, uh, to get it because they're going to have sex. And, you know, I don't want them to have sex. That's, that's, that's ludicrous. They're going to have sex. And I would hope that you would hope that they would have sex. Otherwise, how are they going to reproduce?